dark skin, light skin, medium tongues Panting grave, got mini axe thrones Big lips, got tips, some of us don't Big nose, contour, some of us won't Never wanna pass in the media, bro Wanna fight pretty like Kardashian, no Wanna fight pretty like Martin guys welcome to my channel my name is tan if you're new in today's video we have a unit that was sent over from divatress.com today's unit comes from the brand bobby boss and i got her in the style mlf263 series this unit comes in multiple different colors and i'll pop the list up here on the screen i chose the color ginger spice I decided on that color just because lately I've been getting a lot of human hair units that are very wearable but I wanted something that was vibrant yet wearable now if I wanted to go with the color that was just a flat out vibrant then I would have went with either the lilac or I would have went with the TT rosemary the cap construction of this unit is your standard cap construction with three combs in total one in the back the other two are in the front on each side it also comes with adjustable straps this is a 13 by 4 lace unit but I would consider it a compact 13 by 4 lace unit just because you are getting 13 inches going straight across in the front of the unit and then four inches going straight back but those four inches are pretty much just located right here in the center of the unit the lace on this unit does look a little bit gray but I'm not gonna do my standard tinting of the lace how I usually either take some foundation or some spray and spray the inside of the cap instead I'm just gonna wait to the end and do it on the top according to the stock card this unit is said to have natural baby hairs and also be pre plucked now I will say the baby hairs are there and they're not too long which I can always appreciate but as far as the pre-plucking is concerned mm -mm. to me it looks like the center of the unit was plucked but it could use a little bit more plucking and then on the sides it's like they didn't even try the stock card also says that this unit is safe heat styling now I probably won't be using any heat on her but if I do I'll let you guys know the results of it <laughs> now I'm not gonna lie typically when I see curls like this on synthetic units it kind of just screams cheap to me kind of screams synthetic to me I get a little bit nervous because I'm like okay when I comb out the unit or when I brush out the unit are the curls just gonna clump back together which typically I don't really like but I have high hopes for this unit and who knows I my mind might be changed we we don't know let's install her though and then I'll come back with my final thoughts about this unit I just want you to focus pull me in pull me closer give me that diagnosis don't my mind like explosions just one touch leaves me helpless on repeat like it's endless that she's turned to a white dress looks so good damn you did this yeah i just want you to focus on my love just focus on my i just want you to focus on my love just focus on my i just want you to focus on my love y'all i done messed up and i done cut off too much on the sides to where i was just like i ripped it off on this side and so then i just went ahead and cut the extra lace off on this side so I'm gonna figure out a way to make it work though. Yeah. want you to focus better keep your composure like you trying to earn that diploma do it over and over yeah make it pop coca-cola keep it hot barcelona but she's turned to a white dress let's soak up when i'm naked yeah i just want you to focus on my love just focus on my i just want you to focus on my love just focus on my i just want you to focus on my love just focus on my talk about this unit from bobby boss to start off the color the color the color the color the color the color it's so freaking pretty i have a unit from janet collection that's pretty much this color except for it's a pixie cut so therefore it's this color on top and then it's a 1b on the bottom this color is like a orangish reddish type of unit with like yellow orangish type of low lights or highlights i don't really know which one it is but they're just thrown in there very subtle like 
The coloring of this unit is exactly what I was hoping for and going for when I said I wanted that color, that vibrancy, but at the same time I want it to be very wearable. Another good thing about this unit is the lace. It is blending so well. Now earlier I told you guys that I wasn't going to do my typical tinting of the lace when I go in underneath the cap and put foundation or tinting spray. Instead I just used the remainder of my foundation and powder that was on my foundation brush and I put it on the perimeter of the unit and I am loving it so far. I'm not someone who's always needing a defined part in my units. I really like the tousled messy type of look so that's what I'm kind of going for right now. If I did decide to do a defined part I would use my concealer or powder to kind of like define that part a little bit more. Otherwise it's pretty much giving off grayish if you will but again I'm okay with it. The texture of this unit seems to be like a light yakky but in my opinion it's almost two different textures. On the top portion of the unit it seems to be like really silky but then on the lower half pretty much where those waves and curls were it seems to give light yakky. But unfortunately it's not giving the good type of light yakky when it comes to synthetic units. It's tangling a little bit too much for me. When I was doing my makeup basically not moving around a whole lot I could feel and see some of the tangles starting to form at the nape of my neck now granted I do expect this unit to tangle seeing as how it's a long curly or wavy colored unit and it's synthetic on top of it but still I was like come on girl like at least give me two to three hours without tangling <laughs> this unit is also shedding a little bit now I'm not really sure if it's shedding because I did attempt to go in and pluck some of the sides but then I was like, you know what, I give up. I'm not about to stress myself out, which I'm glad I did because as you guys saw, I ended up ripping off this side and then this side I ended up cutting off to match this side. So yeah. <laughs> Speaking of ripping the sides though, I do think that I was able to go in and fix it a bit because I did end up using the baby hairs plus some just to kind of cover up the sides. Now unfortunately I can't get my sideburns to lay down for some strange reason and I don't necessarily want to use gel so if you guys recommend any type of products please leave it down below. I went in with my edge control, I went in with some got to be glue gel and I also used some hairspray and none of those worked so yeah earlier I also spoke about how the waves to me tend to look a little bit cheapy when it comes to synthetic units but I was hoping that once I brush them out it would look better I feel like they definitely look better once they're brushed out but my fear also came true as well they do kind of clump back up together after a while the solution to that for me is just making sure that I carry around a paddle brush and just kind of brush it out just to give that like big fluffy wave appearance rather than that I don't know crunchy tight wave look <laughs> another good thing about this unit is that I would definitely say that she's big head friendly even with me ripping off one side and having to cut off the other side I was still able to pull on the unit you know to pull it forward to cover up my own natural hairline and the unit is still fitting really comfortably the density of this unit I would say is more so of an everyday type of density she's not super thick obviously but she's also not so thin to where you might see tracks <laughs> the length of the unit isn't stated on the stock card but I would say that she's about 22 inches long when all of the hair is pushed to the front she stops right underneath my breast and when all of the hair is pushed to the back I want to say she stops about mid back maybe a little bit below my mid back this is random but I was going to do a cute little style with this unit and put like some little pigtails right here but I don't know with the color and everything it might kind of give off like cosplay maybe I don't know I don't know I think I'm gonna leave her down I was also thinking about cutting her like maybe to right here I don't know I feel like that would be really cute <laughs> y'all I just realized my overhead light hasn't been on this whole time well not the whole time but since I've been talking about the unit oh uh, I hope this video isn't dark if so I'm sorry dang it I can't lie that just kind of put me in a little bit of a mood like I'm mad at myself because how could I forget to turn on my overhead light like 
<laughs> so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up by letting you guys know on divatress.com this unit does retail for $45.99 but if you plan on picking up one of the specialty colors expect to pay about a $4 upcharge now in my opinion I do think that $50 is a little bit steep for this unit I would say that 40 maybe 45 could be the max but at the same time I don't make the prices <laughs> if it didn't shed and tangle in the way that it does then I would totally feel like it was worth $50 but because of those two things I'm kind of like, eh, I don't really know. But let me know what you guys think and how you feel down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel before you leave. And also, make sure you click the bell. That way you're notified anytime that I upload a video. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. They're both at Tan Dotson. I'll be sure to have a direct link to this unit down in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. I don't have anything else to say, though, except for next time I will remember to turn on my overhead light. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.